Israel's push into the heart of embattled northern Gaza is not coming without a deadly cost, and the images of suffering are no easier to take tonight. A Hamas-run hospital says dozens are dead and hundreds injured in an Israeli airstrike on a Palestinian refugee camp, though NBC News cannot independently confirm those numbers. Israel not denying its forces hit the camp, calling it a known Hamas stronghold and saying its strike killed a top Hamas commander involved in planning the October 7th terror attacks on Israel. Fierce battles are underway in northern Gaza tonight, Israel rejecting calls for a ceasefire. Determined to crush Hamas over the surprise attack that left 1,400 Israelis and foreigners dead and others taken hostage. Richard Engel remains at the Israel-Gaza border and leads our coverage tonight. Israel devastated part of a refugee camp on the edge of Gaza City, carrying out what it called a large-scale strike in one of the most densely populated areas in the world. A nearby Hamas-run hospital tonight said dozens were killed and hundreds injured. NBC News cannot independently confirm those figures. The camp is full of apartment buildings, and people can be seen carrying away wounded and dead and digging through rubble. Israel said it was targeting one of the leaders of Hamas's October 7th massacre of 1,400 Israelis and that its strike collapsed a subterranean structure. Israel blamed Hamas for the civilian deaths, saying Hamas uses civilians as human shields. Perhaps the only thing not in dispute in this war is that civilians in Gaza are suffering and that the hospitals needed to care for the growing number of injured are barely functioning. This has been a, a massacre that's been unfolding and now we're getting to the final chapter of this massacre where even the wounded will not be spared. The world needs to intervene now. UNICEF today calling Gaza a graveyard for thousands of children. Israel has rejected a ceasefire, saying it would be a surrender to Hamas. Everything we're seeing here in southern Israel indicates that this ground offensive is still ramping up with more and more troops heading into Gaza. In Israel says it struck 300 Hamas targets today and that it's hunting Hamas commanders. It claims this strike killed an architect of the mass murder of Israelis in two kibbutzes near Gaza. As Israel increased its estimate once again of the hostages held in Gaza, now to 240. <laughs> One is back with her family, Private Ori Magidish, rescued by Israeli troops. While Natalie Ranan, an American teenager taken hostage by Hamas, is also back home in the Chicago area. She was freed 11 days ago. And Richard, as you know, there's a lot in play here tonight. Another Iranian-backed militia is again sparking fears of a regional conflict. So two U.S. military officials tell NBC News they believe that Houthi rebels in Yemen fired a ballistic missile at Israel. Israel shot it down. So the United States is already in a low-level conflict with these Iranian-backed militias. The question is how big it will get. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.